8 a.m. in Anaheim, California. I'm going to get the rental car and then going to hang out with Chris Salamone. Should be a good day. When I told Chris I would have a few days in Southern California by myself, he invited me over. We talked about many, many things. Life, family, work, YouTube, and we even got to unbox his new Panasonic GH5 that showed up while I was there. I asked what he had going on in the shop, and he told me he had just gotten a card scraper but didn't know how to sharpen it. So I told him I'd show him the ropes. I started by demonstrating how a dull scraper performed. Then we sharpened my scraper I just happened to bring with me across the country. I'm just kidding, we planned this. Yeah, now I'm starting to feel it. So. Is it straight ready? Let's test it. When it was time to sharpen Chris's card scraper, we joined at the edges of the scraper with a file to remove any ridges and give us a perfectly flat surface. Next, we removed any burr we created with the file with my diamond stone. After that, we polished the edges at the whetstone using a piece of scrap as a 90 degree guide. At this stage, we were ready to burnish. Now, the idea with burnishing is to take a metal that's harder than the card and rub the edge until the softer metal starts to mushroom out, about eight passes or so using moderate pressure. Then start to roll that metal into a hook by tilting the burnisher about yay degrees. You'll actually be able to feel the hook with your fingertips when it's there. Scraping can build up a lot of friction and heat, so I gave Chris one of my magnets to put on the back to protect his thumbs and shamelessly plug my channel. Chris and I had a lot of fun hanging out all day, and it's a shame we don't live closer because I'm pretty sure we'd hang out pretty often. At least I was able to teach him, and hopefully you, the viewer, something before leaving California. Thanks for watching.